Homes. It is Transformation Tuesday. It is Tuesday, February the uh, 16th, 2021. If you're seeing me live, that means that you have power in Central Texas. Um, welcome. And today, um, just a little bit of background. The reason I say that, um, I am coming to you from Central Texas. Very, very historically cold and snowy and icy Central Texas on this Tuesday after Valentine's Day. Um, kind of an epic event that we're experiencing here. I am blessed and so eternally grateful to say that uh, we have power in our house and therefore we have heat. Um, we don't have any water, but that's livable. That is very livable. So the first thing I'd like to ask you to do today on this Tran Transformation Tuesday is uh, is hold everyone in, in, in all of this, in the storm that moved through the deep south all the way up. It's heading off the coast to the northeast today. Um, we have more weather coming in in the next day and a half. And then this coming Sunday, it's going to be back up in the 60s. So, But if you would, please hold a thought, a good prayer for everyone's safety, for everyone's comfort, and uh, uh, just knowing that we're taking care of each other as we always do. So outside of my window today, um, we got about six inches of snow this past Sunday night on overnight Valentine's night. And for Central Texas, outside of Austin, where I live, it is very unusual. We might get a dusting here and there. We got a lot of ice beforehand, which is really, unfortunately, very deadly. And um, the temperatures... Um, this morning it was three degrees here, which um, for us is very unusual, and most of the time um, we don't have to think about it like those of you up north do. Um, I will say that I'm blessed that I did grow up in a northern state in Michigan, so I knew the drill in terms of um, faucets and putting rugs under doors and keeping the curtains closed and all of those things. Um, but outside my window, all of the six inches of snow, it's very sunny outside today. And there is a tremendous amount of reflected light. And that's where I am today uh, on Transformation Tuesday, is that recognizing, is contemplating the idea that we as humans are the reflected light of spirit. We are the, the whether you call it spirit or God or universal energy or whatever you call it, we are the reflected light. That is my belief. That is the study that I'm in. That's a study that resonates deeply with me, philosophy that resonates de deeply with me. And we don't often see that in each other, do we? Um, we tend to reflect or have reflected to us the inner darkness, the um, places that we like to label as ugly or mean or angry. And we label those things, the feelings of those things, as defining who we are. And so for our transformation practice today, I invite you to contemplate the idea of separating a thought from a feeling and a feeling from a belief. And it does take a little bit of digging, but that's what we're here for on Tuesdays and the rest of the time is we do that digging, our self-awareness digging, to stop and ask, our, ask ourselves, why why do I believe that? Why am I thinking that? Why am I saying that thing to this person? Why did that just come out of my mouth when I didn't really want it to? You know what I'm talking about, right? So it's the idea that we are somehow separate from that source. And if we go very deeply into it very quickly, deep as in the deep snow that's outside of the window right now, we, we, we call it reflected light because we are the expression of the one light, of that one power, of that one love, if you will. We are reflected, but it is also reflected through us to others. And if we go deeper still to the belief behind that, we might bump into that place that says, how dare you? Or who are you to think that about yourself? that you are the reflected light of God or of spirit. Who are you? And what I can tell you, what I have learned and what I have learned to unlearn is that that is a behavior, that is a conditioned behavior from early life. Not from anybody's bad intention, not from anybody's saying, you know, you don't deserve to be this. It's just simply generations and generations of teachings 
and in our in our um, spiritual practices in the in the faith tradition of our youth in our schools in our society we at first learned uh, in my generation at least was don't make don't make too big of a deal about out of yourself um, we've kind of swung that different way in the last um, in the last decade or so or, or longer um, depending on who you talk to that we've moved to a totally self-absorbed place sometimes but what I'm here to tell you and here to affirm for you and here to invite you to consider is that we go back to the basics. We go back to the basics of, of our relationship, our personal private relationship with the God of our understanding. And we start there. And, and really it's nobody else's business what that relationship is because number one, they can't define it for us. We can't even agree all of the billions of people on the planet throughout the entirety of history cannot even agree on what the definition of God is any more than we can define what love is, what beauty is. All of those things that we try to describe the experience of and cannot do. So be the reflected light today. Contemplate being that reflected light. Contemplate being the light because really we are all part of that one source. We are not the entirety of it, but we are a unique and divine expression of that one source. So as you're staying warm, as you're taking care of one another and checking in on each other, wherever you are in this country, no matter what the situation, no matter what the weather, begin with that relationship and know that you are never separate from it because it is expressing through you and as you. Hope that gives you a little bit to think about to transform your life to the life that you know you can live. So be well, take care of each other. I love you dearly. You are the light. You are the reflected light. Reflect that light to somebody else today. All right, we'll see you next week.